What's up everybody? Matt Hofeld and Rich the Creative Crimson and CreamMachine.com. Talk a little bit about the 2012 Oklahoma football season. Sooners finished the regular season 10 and 2. Earn a trip to the Cotton Bowl to take on former conference rival Texas A&M. Of course, it's not where Oklahoma fans wanted to be. It doesn't mean that this season was not short of spectacular moments. My personal highlight moment of the season has to be Trey Miller's 73 yard reception against the Texas Longhorns in which he leapt and stiff-armed two Texas players in Oklahoma's route of the Longhorns in the Cotton Bowl. Matt, as we know, if there's a high point, there's definitely got to be a low point of the season. Low point for me this season happens to be Oklahoma's first loss on the season at home against the Kansas State Wildcats when Blake Bell, who we thought was an unstoppable force, fumbles the snap, or should I say he never actually grabbed a hold of it before taking off towards the end zone. Low point of the season. So what about the moment in the season that brought us the most elation? It's got to be Brennan Clay's 18-yard touchdown run in overtime against Oklahoma State to win the Bedlam game and give Oklahoma their ninth win of the season, putting them on track for yet another 10-win season under Bob Stoops. As we know, there's always a flip side to every coin. Most frustrating moment for me as an Oklahoma Sooners fan happened in the Kansas State game as well. However, this time it was Landry Jones who rolled out, was hit, lost the ball, causing a fumble. Kansas State recovers for a touchdown. So what about the offensive player of the season for Oklahoma? In my opinion, it has to be Justin Brown. Here's a kid that came in as a transfer from Penn State and I think really saved the season for Oklahoma's receivers. Got off to a little bit of a rough start until the chemistry uh, got caught up between him and Landry Jones, but 66 catches over 800 yards for the season, four touchdowns, became really a, a threat for Oklahoma in, within the offense, but as well on the special teams aspect as well. He definitely gets my nod for Offensive Player of the Year for Oklahoma. My Offensive player of the season is also a wide receiver, a group we know had depth but kind of lacked that experience. Jalen Saunders came in midway through the season and proved that he could be that number one target coming up with big catch after big catch as well as yards after the catch for Landry Jones, a vital part of this offense. We aren't where we are today without him. So on the defensive side of the ball, the MVP for me has got to be Tony Jefferson. Who would have thought this is a kid that would lead the Sooners in tackles this year, 113 total tackles for Jefferson. Sure, he had his moments of frustration this year, but for the most part, kid was more than solid for this Oklahoma defense. Leading the way, uh, he gets my nod, defensive player of the season. For me, the defensive player of the year also comes from the secondary. However, it's going to be cornerback Aaron Colvin. Colvin coming up with some monster stops throughout the year. He seemed to be that solid piece in this secondary that helped Oklahoma lead the Big 12 in the passing defense for a majority of the season. So that's it for our quick thoughts on the 2012 Oklahoma Sooners. We certainly would like to know yours. Make sure you leave yours uh, comments and your thoughts below. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, now's the time to do it. We're getting ready to transition from football season to basketball season. Continue to find great content every day at crimsonandcreammachine.com. And don't forget, we have also have a bowl game to prepare for. Look for a lot of coverage on that in the upcoming weeks. SB Nation, I'm Matt Hofeld. He's rich to crash.